with autism when I was pretty young. Uh, when I was six years old, I was diagnosed with mild autism because uh, I was showing all the major symptoms, right? It was like uh, trouble understanding other people's emotions was a big one and communication skill issues. I think that's kind of bullshit, right? Because those are also the two symptoms. Of being six years old. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my communication skills aren't up to your expectations yet. <laughs> you don't want to talk about my Legos, I have bad news for you. <laughs> You're going to be unattentive. <laughs> I was telling that joke one time, and a lady came up to me after the show, and she points at me, which is already aggressive. <laughs> and she goes, you're not autistic. She says, you don't look autistic. You can't have autism. And I did not know what to say to that. Uh, because of the autism. <laughs> And she holds up a picture of her nephew, and she goes, this is my nephew, see, he's got autism. And I was like, I don't see it. I was like, what makes him look more autistic than me? Is the mole? Like, I don't And then she says, he's just not as handsome as you are. Oof, right? I was like, lady, I think I know what's going on. I think your nephew's just autistic. And a little ugly, right? <laughs> they don't go hand in hand. Not every ugly person just has autism. I was like, wait, if every ugly person just had autism, I was like, you'd have autism. <laughs> also, are you hitting on me? I don't know. I'm on this side. I don't know, man. My mom was pretty cool when I was diagnosed with autism. My mom was like, James. You know, very smart people are autistic, very intelligent people get diagnosed with autism. You can probably do incredible things, like memorize an entire phone book. <laughs> uh, does that impress any of you guys at all? <laughs> I was like, I don't know how it's gonna get me laid in high school, but I'll try. <laughs> Quickly found out, not the memorizing phone books. <laughs> I'm like, uh, it's hard to make friends autistic. <laughs> Which worked out in the end because I had like way less numbers than memorized going. <laughs> Pretty great. It's so fun. Uh, I, uh, I worked at Jimmy John's for a long time, man. Uh, too long, actually. I worked at Jimmy John's longer than anyone should ever have to work at. <laughs> Which was two months. <laughs> so when I quit. It sucked, man. It was like the worst job I think I ever had. Like, I remember the worst day I ever had at Jimmy John's. My manager called me up really early in the morning. She was like, James, you gotta come help open the store. I had to fire everybody for smoking weed in the cooler last night. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. I wish I would've just worked last night. <laughs> <laughs> I go into the store, right, to help open it up, right, I'm a good employee, I get to the store, whole store smells like marijuana from the night before, which is like, cool with me, right, you know, but, uh, <laughs> my manager's freaking out about it, she's like, this is gross, this is unprofessional, it reeks in here, at one point she says, this is the worst Jimmy John's in the world. <laughs> I like take her back a few pegs. I was like, look, this whole store smells like fresh bread and weed. This might be the best <laughs> in the world. This is pretty on brand for us here at Jimmy John. <laughs> she looks at me, she's like, James, I mean, what if people complain about the smell? I was like, we have a sign that says free smells. <laughs> Give me a pay for it, you know what I mean? <laughs> I remember we opened the store at 10 o'clock, right? First guy comes in at 10.14, and my manager hides in the back. She like doesn't even want to talk to this guy. She's too nervous to get in trouble. But that means I have to talk to him. And I'm also pretty nervous about getting in trouble. More so than her, because as I'm talking to him, I slip up a little bit, right? I'm like bringing him up, and I'm like, uh, is this smell weed in here? <laughs> like weed in here and this guy looks at me and he goes yeah it does but then he says 
I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I was like, I think we're gonna be okay. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Jim Stanley. Thank you so much. <laughs>